So today we're going to take a quick look at creating budgets for D365 Business Central. So here you can see I'm logged in and this is my dashboard page. And I'm going to go ahead and use the magnifying glass to quickly jump over to my GL budget area. And here we go on the results list. And now it's brought up the screen that shows that I have a couple budgets that are already uh, out there. But we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So I'll just click the new icon. And I'll go ahead and create a budget for 2018. And I'll give it a quick description. And this way we can jump right into that by hitting Edit Budget and start building it out in more detail. So right now it's showing under my budget matrix uh, the different codes or departments. So th these are the lines in my budget. And similarly, my columns are broken out by monthly periods. Um, so you can change all those uh, based on what your budget wants to look, you know, what you want your budget to look like. Um, so instead of choosing department, we're gonna go ahead and create our budget by the GL account codes. So I'll go ahead and make that change. And I think we're just gonna create some quarterly amounts in here to make this a little bit easier to manage. So here you can see that it's made those changes and we're gonna go ahead and work on this in Excel. So I'll go ahead and export this over to Excel. Uh, I'm gonna set my start date as the first of the year. I'm gonna only have um, four periods since I'm gonna do four quarters and my period length will be quarters. So here you can see that it opened it in Excel and I'm gonna go ahead and click enable editing so I can start working on this. And we can just go ahead and jump down to some of our expense accounts and start adding in budgets for those. So here we see we have a, a rent expense. We know that our rent is $1,000 per month. So here we can use all the standard Excel functions like dragging and copying and pasting for all of our, all of our cells. Uh, we're not gonna fill in too much now, so we'll just go ahead and save this right to our desktop. We wanna come back, maybe work on it later. We'll go ahead and give it another, maybe another version. So we'll go ahead and give it an extension. Okay, then we can go ahead and close this. And then we'll go back to our budget in Business Central. And now it's ready for us to import this from Excel. So here we go and we're just gonna update everything. We'll choose our file that we want. And here it says that it's successfully been updated with those four entries. We'll go okay. And then maybe we wanna run a quick report and just see what it looks like compared to our actuals. So we'll look for that rent expense account type. And again, um, let's look for the year. We'll go ahead and bring that up here. And here you can see it's just showing me what we've put in for our budget for the year. You've seen 4,000 because we did 1,000 for each period, each quarter. Um, and then we've got our debits and our credits against that account that we've accumulated so far this year. So hopefully that gives you a good idea, idea of some of the capabilities in the budgeting in Business Central. Thank you.